So I actually have a question from a big fan of yours named Gideon Aroni. And Gideon asks, as an aspiring writer, watching your shows slowly weave themselves like tapestries in is nothing short of breathtaking. How do you break a story like Patriot? Is it an idea, a theme, a character, or do you work backwards from the ending? Well, we always, we start with themes and uh, themes are elemental. When I say we, I have a small company in Chicago and I'm in a church, but it's an old church. It's, it's our office. Uh, I don't live here. It looks creepy. I've never seen it before. I'm always just inside of it, but it's our office. And uh, we have a few young people who break story with me and who help me wrap our heads around the genre we're in and what we're trying to accomplish. And, uh, but we start with themes. And when I have occasion to spend time with my colleagues who are filmmakers or showrunners, that I find that that's a little rare. I was surprised to hear that. But themes are really where it's at for us. And with Patriot, we uh, decided we should write about the, the feat of endurance that life asks of you, the, the event of your life that never ends to try to finish an important task without being recognized or helped. Uh, that became the, the, the theme. And then we invented the show around that desire to write about what I think is the walk of most people's lives, which is to try to perform a very hard task while you're being unrecognized for it. And then to fend off all of the, the obstacles that surprise you. The, the, the um, accomplishment is surviving I think for all of us, so I, I wanted to, to wrap a show around that idea. And then so we built that world and picked that genre to do it with. I thought it had a space for someone to go, go after it, to um, uh, try to put, put a little more humanity in it. The, the first thing we do at Elephant is we just start to watch the genre. So we just watch spy shows and spy movies and everybody's pals here. So what inevitably, inevitably happens is we start to make fun of it a little bit and then it becomes like mystery science theater. And I think that that's very important. The, the, the familiar um, events, storylines, details, activities, behaviors of the characters, when they're, when they're familiar enough that really clever young people start to mock them, I, I think there's a lesson in there that I think that means it's ringing false. And when it's ringing false, we try to figure out a way to uh, to change those elements to make sure that they don't make an audience feel like that. That Rather than ringing false, we try to make it ring true. Whatever that means. I think it just means that you appreciate where the filmmakers are coming from in regard to what they have to say about life on Earth. So after the theme, what's, what's the next step that you tackle then? So let, and, and let's just take Patriot as a specific example. So you guys, what was the theme of that for you? And then how do you unravel it from there? Well, that, that, that uh, isolated endurance, enduring something alone, and, and, then, and then realizing that that is unsustainable, that you must, you, you must find allies, you must find assistance, you have to find help you have to call out for it it'll come from a place you don't expect and when it does you have to take it uh so there's a theme and then we just attack the genre and say how can this be how can we contribute to this i i am not interested in making a james bond movie i like them that isn't a mark i'd like to make i don't want to be responsible for those movies i dig them uh i want to be responsible for a sort of different sound but I like them enough to respect them. So we respect the way those genres work. And then we think, well, how can we, how can we be personal? How can this come from Chicago and not Hollywood? So, so we're, we are in Chicago and we leave for work, but we create everything here. Uh, all of our shows are created in the neighborhoods in Chicago. And uh, it's helped me to try to, to stay uh, more basic, I think, than we're other people might wander off. And, and by basic, I don't mean simple-minded. I just mean <clears throat> that you're writing about imperative ideas, that you're writing about necessities. You're not writing about wishes, you're writing about needs. So we, that's where we start. And then we try to find those in the genre, and if they're not there, we put them in there. 